Okay, day three, I think it is. Uh, we're gonna head out and grab some material to hopefully finish off the seating and uh, bench table area. Uh, I have got different clothes, by the way, guys, and I am showering in between vlogs, just in case any of you are wondering. Um, also, I found a whole new respect for people that daily vlog. Um, I was up till 1 a.m. last night getting on top of these videos. I don't know how staggered they're gonna go out on YouTube, but the hustle is real right now. And uh, yeah, let's get into another day of camper van renovations. So we need 70, 5 by 50, 125, 1, 2, 3 times. Also need a little extra bit of trim to go along the top there. Alright, so what we're looking for really is just anything similar to this wood that we can get 4 metres of. So I'm going to paint it all anyway. Need a bit of adhesive sealant. But I think we found it. 4.2 meters just about fits in the van. All right, first thing we're going to do today is we're going to try and fit the table, cut the table down to size. We're going to use the old sideboard that was the extension of the kitchen. Chop it down to size so that it just slots down into that gap there. Dad's just ripped the sides off. We'll chop it down and then put them back on for a nice finish. So what I need to do is take the bolts and the table bottom off the old one, ready for the new one. Alright, so this is going to slot on the bottom and then we've got to move this over here somehow. <coughs> Alright, table stand on the bottom, so that will sit up there somewhere and then drop through the gap and put a little lip on there and it'll sit down and then we've got another bit of ply to make the material back into an L shape. So I was going at this thing for about 10 minutes with a screwdriver and then we realised it's bolted into the bottom of the van. So Dad's got a little hacksaw out. Right now what we've got to do is make sure we get the measurements right before we drill a massive hole in the floor of where this table legs are going to sit. So just while we're here give you a quick look that's the, an idea of the insulation we're dealing with in the bottom of the van will it fit once the flooring's in bang on man so we've temporary fitted it to the floor until we sort the flooring out but that is pretty much what it's going to look like we've got the dinner slash office setup there yeah won't it yeah and then another bit of ply on top yeah to make the cushions so dad's just cutting a piece of ply that will slot on top um, and then I think I've got to get to Wilco before it shuts and pick some bolts and screws up uh, but I'm going to black this out and uh, just roll it all into one vlog otherwise we'll be here forever until we finish the furniture set up we've got the wood ready cleaning up in the shed there to finish this and finish this and we'll pick that up in the morning right straight back into it Got the little pieces, chopping them down now, out of this length. Oh, yeah. And these, hopefully, will fit in there perfectly. So what I've got to do now is, because I'm a little bit anal, <laughs> one minute it's a camper van, next minute everything's got to be perfect, is I'm just going to sand the uh, hard edges off the side of this wood, just to give it a little bit of rounded effect so it matches the rest of it. See what I mean, the difference between this rounded edge wood versus this hard stuff, so we'll give it a little go. There's the first three done. I'm just going to brace the back of it and slot that in there. Looking good. 69, 69, and 70. Quality. Blimp going in for the table to sit on. There you go. And the other one goes on top. Yeah, just need a couple of legs on it to steady the front. So we just stuck a little temporary leg in there. Dad's cutting the last bit of ply down to size. And then I'll show you the setup. Spot because on. The, the sponges are gonna Yeah, cover everything. Threaten. Solid man. So we're pretty much there with a the setup. We've got the table in the middle, and the seat either side, 
and then the table will simply pull out, disregard the leg, and it will slot back down to sit on that lip. And then we'll have a solid leg on a hinge to balance that out. And the extra bit of ply here, sitting in the back with the remaining cushion staple to it, making back up the L-shaped sofa in the evenings. All right, straight into the legs. We've got a bit of floor to use as a template for how the floor is eventually gonna be. Actually got the old hinges that came off the inside of the cupboards and they should fit perfectly on there. Measurements have been taken using this as our guide stick. Fingers crossed. I've got to just cut that out. Yeah. Show you. Yeah, we've, we've done. Right, this is the important bit now. Fingers crossed. We'll get the arc right in the middle. Looking good. Spot on, man. <laughs> so this pull down leg that we've just made and screwed in is actually the old original table the guy was using. So ironic really that it's ended up second hand usage as a leg. Looking good. We've even got a little dog kennel there. Look, we could grab Oscar if he ever wants to come out in the camper. Stick him under there. So last job of the day is to cut up the foam to match the seating area. So it all fits perfect and now we've just got to glue them down with the adhesive. What a day! We're going to leave that adhesive to dry overnight come and attack it again tomorrow but that is solid DIY furniture job pretty much done and now to finish the day we've added a matching little black bolt on the cabin door so it's all tidy and in sync with the ones in the back of the van so quickly signing out need to go and get some food and have a shower but can't believe how much we've got done today really looking uh, looking smart now see the whole setup coming together exactly how I envisioned it and um, yeah absolutely buzzing like I say most of the furniture work done now big bulk of the DIY probably a day or so on the floor day or so taking the chimney out and then it's pretty much just um, decorating the interior so signing out and we'll catch you on the next one <laughs>